Kia ora everyone. I'm a little bit gutted today because they've finally announced the cancellation of Armageddon Expo 2021 out in Auckland. And I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with the Expo in that while I'm there, absolutely fantastic the first day, going around, seeing everything, seeing how passionate everybody is about the sort of things that I really enjoy. See, so looking at things like that and things like that and all of these other things. It's so cool to see people who are passionate about that kind of stuff. And some of the creativity that goes into things like costumes and stuff like that. Absolutely amazing. I love seeing that. But, you know, walking around a convention center with 60,000 people at the moment does seem a little bit... Uh, and also, it's exhausting. Like, it's, it's physically exhausting doing it constantly. In the last few years, I've actually helped out at my friend's stall, uh, Retrospace, which is a store in Takapuna absolutely brilliant go along to it get everything you can this year i'd actually signed up to help another friend with the madman stand um which was personally i was kind of hoping going to happen because i was going to hit him up about doing some producery stuff with me for next year if he was keen but i'll just have to catch up with him in a different uh setting to get that sorted um but it's kind of annoying because at the same time i love buying christmas presents there it's usually armageddon is sort of my first christmas present shopping thing because i know my kids love the stuff that you get from armageddon and even though they can't always get to it it's always cool to sit there go ooh, ooh, ooh. same with some with at least dad there's the odd thing that i find there for him which isn't going to happen this year um and that's also not necessarily a bad thing because i'm kind of thinking i don't want to do christmas this year because with the way 2021's being, if I was to drive down to the Waikato to see the family, uh, chances are I'd be a holiday road toll victim, because that's just how this year feels like it's going, and I don't want to do that. Also, I'm completely flat broke now. I've eaten through all my savings because I've been unemployed for so long, which is also not ideal. Right, hold that. This is an intercut. I'm cutting into the things I've already pre-recorded because while I'm editing this together, I remembered why I feel like this and like how come I felt like this before. Back in 2008, 2009, must mean 2009, um, I was working for Video Easy. You remember them, they used to rent out videos. Um, you might not remember them, it depends how old you are, I guess. Uh, we were in the first ever slash only retail branch that they ever set up called Easy DVD. And the concept was essentially, you know, you go and you buy DVDs and collectibles and stuff like that. So much fun. Um, managed to talk the owner of the company into doing some sponsorship at, at Armageddon, mostly because I thought it was a good mix, but also because I wanted to go to it. Talked the company, uh, the manager of the store into going, yep, sweet, let's do this. And then he refused to give me a ticket at all he took somebody else up there with him who hated it who spent the whole time complaining and then got back into hamilton going eh, it wasn't worth it and so i got stuck at work while all of our customers were up in auckland doing the thing that i didn't want to do while somebody who hated being there was doing the thing that i'd organized all this for and that really fucked me off which is why i don't like the idea of armageddon being cancelled i think it feels like it's the, the people that are missing out are the people who really enjoy it the most. Anyway, back to my regularly scheduled rant. Um, again, 2021. Um, but I feel really gutted for like the people who get so enthusiastic about it, who spend all year building some amazing cosplay stuff for the businesses that put so much effort into trying to get organized for it. And not just your big businesses, you get lots of people who do lots of cool little things as well. Um, I actually got one of my blinkies from there last year. See, Blinky's cute. Blinky's adorable. Um, so, I don't know what... I, like, there's nothing that you can do about it. I just kind of have to wait until next time around and hope that this time next year things are very, very different. But I just thought I would share with you, you know, a little bit gutted by that. Kind of sucks. But them's the breaks. Oh, well. Onwards and upwards. I suggest if you are the sort of person who would normally go to Armageddon, who really enjoys that kind of thing, that you get out there and you celebrate it anyway. Go do something geeky today to enjoy your life, and celebrate things, and to kind of get over the really weird shitty year that we've all been having. All right, until next time, which will be Wednesday. Oh boy, have I got a story for you on Wednesday. I will catch you later. Kakite.